Hola, Claps! Today, we're making guacamole. So today, we're gonna make something a little bit more cultural, and I thought we'd take a little trip down to Mexico and make some guacamole. The first ingredients you guys will need is some avocados. And make sure they're ripe. You're gonna need some delicious lemon juice. An onion. I, you can get any onion. I probably like the purple onions because they're delicious. You get some tomatoes. And you'll need yourself a nice little knife and fork. And then, of course, your salt and pepper. Because that's important. So, we're gonna start off by cutting our avocado. And then, we're gonna mash it up and make it into like a little mixture. So, so first thing we're gonna start off by doing is we're gonna cut the avocado. And then we're going to place it into the bowl and just start mashing it around. So we're going to begin by inserting our wonderful handy dandy knife in there. And just taking a little slice. And there you go. Yeah, that's actually a really, really nice looking avocado. I thought it was going to be not that right. I'm just, I'm just going to press it right out. I just have it fall right in there. You can take those seeds and you can plant your own avocados. And have your own avocado tree, and then you can make as much guacamole as your little heart desires. As you can see, now we got our avocado just chilling in there. So we're gonna start mashing it up and making it a really fine, you know, uh, little. I mean, it's basically guacamole once it's just avocado mashed up. So we're just gonna, we're gonna keep mashing it around and make it kind of like a dip. basically already looks like guacamole. Like when you imagine guacamole, it's technically what it looks like. So, right right online is the best thing to do is to put in the lemon first. So you kind of take away from that avocado -y flavor and add some, add some sour to it. I don't know exactly how much lemon juice to put in, so I'm just going to wing it and I'll do the cap of the lemon juice container. So we'll just do the cap of the lemon juice container. Put it in there, because we obviously don't want it to be too wet. And you'll just mix that in there, let it go into that avocado, and you'll see how it starts getting a lot more creamy and a lot more uh, guacamole-ish. Next things first, we're gonna take the onions now, and we're just kind of we're gonna dice them up, just gonna cut them. Literally, doesn't matter how you do this, just cut them into little little pieces. And you don't want too much, so. Go according to how much guacamole you got in there. Nice that onion. Don't you ever stop. You don't let anybody tell you that you can't dice them. You never say that, okay? Once again, mishmash that in there. That's what I like about guacamole is that it's just a big mishmash. It's not hard to do. You just stick it right in there and yeah, just mash it all up. So now we got our onions in there. Here comes the fun part is the salt. Alright, so we're just going to take some salt here, we'll uh, put it out, that should be enough, and just sprinkle how much you think you want. I don't really like things too salty, so I'm just going to put a little bit, and we'll take some pepper, pepper it up. I like some more pepper because I want it to be a little bit peppery. Last things last, take our wonderful tomatoes, and uh, this is really optional. A lot of people I know don't like tomatoes at all, actually. Well, So you wash your tomatoes, and get yourself some tomatoes. We're gonna cut them up like we did to the onion. And uh, once again, don't you ever let anyone tell you how to cut your tomatoes. You do it the way you want. You got this. Uh, so now that you got your tomatoes in there, I'm just gonna mix that all up. We got our, uh, we got our, basically we got our batches of, we got our batch of guacamole here. I never claim that I'm a professional guacamole creator. I do not hail from the land of Mexico, but I think I can make some decent guacamole. We're going to pop this in the fridge for 15 minutes, let it cool down a little bit, and then uh, we'll take it out. We'll put it on stuff. Alright friends, so we got our guacamole ready now. It's been 15 minutes, I'm just sitting in the fridge, and look at that. No goop, no droop, it's just, that's some stable guacamole. So, what I got here is an assorted batch of corn, rice, vegetables that I cooked myself, and it's, uh, it's just pre-made from before. We've got some cheese in here. We're just going to mix it all up. This is great because it's a vegetarian meal, and anybody can eat it. We're going to take 
Nice little batch of our homemade wok. Wok and jock. Stick that right on there. We'll just mix that up. Take a nice little bite of it. I really recommend you guys make this recipe because it's really, really, really good. You can eat it any time of day. I just, I just can't stop. It's so good. I hope you guys liked another episode of Cooking with Clot. It was absolutely delicious to make. And I'll see you guys on my next video. So make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Comment down below and tell me what you guys think about this recipe and if you're going to make it yourself. And like the video if you did like it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, class. And if you guys have anything you want to request me to make, no, that's not how they should say it. I'm Todd, do you know what your hair looks like? <laughs> do you know what it looks like?